Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. We got ourselves Champ 1 Division 3. This is Kyoto Master. Uh, this is 3v3. So uh, yeah, we haven't done a 3v3 replay in a while on here. So um, this is like a month ago though. So Let's see what happens here. Very good hustle. It's a good try in the past. Unfortunately, it pinched a little too hard, but oh good. Okay. That's unfortunate. Alright. I mean, to be fair, if I was in your position, I definitely would have just went back. The reason why, it's because um, you already see two people in front of you as it is, and something is about to happen right here. So you gotta cover the worst case scenario, which is over here. And you've you been right here to hit the ball to the right. Remember, like... Starting in like champ, I mean like sure, you're miss you're messing up probably because of mechanics. You're not really that consistent with like using your, me your mechanics to their full potential, but a lot of it is just with small things. Like this whole play shouldn't be happening here. You're not in a good spot. Because remember, who's third man? You can do this, right? But then you got to get back here. You you, you don't want to stick up. So as soon as you see this, just turn away. Turn away like this. Right? And look, see? Hit it up, throw yourself into the ceiling, or, or um, air dribble. This whole play here would not have happened. And it's being really slow. You gotta play fast when it comes to 3v3. Playing slow is your worst nightmare in this game mode. Okay. Alright, it's not, it's not the worst. I mean, it would have been better if you won that, but it's in the corner, so it's already safe as it is. A good try, good try. Normally, I'm against this because nobody on your team is ready to help you out if this fails, but since the play is really slow here... It kind of just works out. But if you see this situation again, but everybody's moving faster, don't charge into this, because it's going to fly over your head. Right, I don't like this rotation. Like, again, like... You see what happened with that play? What would happen if you just did this? You rotated away, right? I'm sorry, hold on. If you were... Here, yeah, right? You turn away like this, getting small boost pads. Right? Now you're over here. And then you can jump up. Who cares? Just, just beat your teammate to it. <laughs> if you played fast back there, you, you'd beat your teammate to it anyways and you would have scored it. Hey, th this is good positioning. That was nice. Nice try. I don't know why Zero was up with next to you. He shouldn't be there. Good extension, but he didn't pass it to you, which is unfortunate. He just hits it right to them. Okay, you're double committing. Once you see this guy go up, then just don't go after it. Like, you see how he's up on the wall? I mean, you know what? I mean, this is tough. I mean... At this point, maybe Moose should have saw that you jumped, so he should have just turned back. Or he should have stayed on the wall. But he would have been over here instead. He would have been right up here. And he could just hit the ball away, so... It's tough to say. You got beat to this anyway, unfortunately. But, um... I mean, you don't know what your teammate's gonna do, so... If you just waited a little longer... Right? Jump up like this. And, and then hit it that way. And, you know, hit it over there. So, you could have waited a little longer as well. But if you wanted to do what you, had, what you did there, you'd have to trust that your teammate is gonna... Not double commit because he sees you go up for it, but he's not going to be that quick thinking at all. Remember, people in champ aren't that quick to think about their decisions. So, 
be full on committed to that, like tunnel vision. So you can't really rely on your teammates knowing what you're gonna do. You kind of just have to wait it out. You didn't need to jump after this. You see how the ball is going really far away from you? Like, there's no point. And look, you see Demo going after it, right? So just go for a demo, right? Try to demo Scooby. Or if you can't, just rotate around. Demo him. Rotate around. Right? Let him go. Turn on this quickly. Hit it upwards. Okay. Definitely should have went back post here. You just gotta trust the process. Just get back post. Right? You have a lot easier angle hitting this ball if you just went wider. Let your teammate hit it. Good. See, that's what your teammate should have done before when you jumped for it back there. But you see how you just waited like that? You saw that he was he was gonna go after it and you stopped yourself, which is good. But you can't rely on your teammates doing that for you. That's why it's better to just play more patiently and, and more, uh, you know, more, uh, like, calculated. Hey, okay, you let your teammate hit it. That was good. Okay, you could have handled this a lot better if you dribbled this better. You definitely could have caught this a lot better for sure. Not the worst. A good ceiling pass your teammate. Very interesting play. I see that you're very ballsy. You're pushing up a little too far. I mean, Zero, he's going after Big Boost, I can tell. Because remember, people like going after Big Boost if it's available. I mean, you can't blame this guy. If you're just a little bit farther back, Remember, you gotta play for worst case. I mean, the reason why you should be playing, like, your second man, no, actually your third man here. The reason why your third man is because he's, the two of them are in front of you. So you, you think you're second man because you think, okay, yeah, he, he's he's third because he's rotating behind me. Well, not quite. He's not third just yet. No, you're still third. So if you wait for the worst case scenario, then you'll be able to hit it. See, it's just minute decision making. Like, you're not seeing the threat of, of those plays. Remember, this is champ. Like, what are the odds that, that your players are playing so quick that they can beat people and and give you a pass? It's not likely. You know, Spook Luke says a lot that passing is kind of more common in Grand Champ. Like, I know it sucks and you want to position for a pass, but a lot of people in champ and below are just don't have the game sense for that. So that's why you get a position for the worst case. Remember, the lower rank you are, the more likely they're going to make mistakes. So in the lower ranks, it's way more beneficial to position for worst case. Getting into the higher right, higher ranks, then you could probably play a little bit more aggressive. Okay, this is... Uh, you should have just rotated. And now you got big boost, but... You're, with this car language that you're driving away and getting big boost, you're signaling to Moose that you're rotating. So just let him hit the ball, you know, just go around... Now be third, man. Cut in uh, too late. If you wanted to cut in, you would have to do this just without boost. You know, instead of flipping, you drive. Right? And then you hit this ball to the open area of the field. So just be mindful of, like, how you look to, to your teammate's perspective. Good positioning. We definitely expected them to hit it up back onto the wall, which is fine. Like, dude, that's, an, that's a better extension. Way better. Way better, so. Because you went immediately. You didn't, like, hesitate or flip anywhere. Okay, yeah. It, the, the launch has got to be a little better. I think you're moving too quick here. Just don't boost here at all. Right? Don't boost here. Boost a little bit, but stop boosting right here. 
because you keep boosting this little extra boost past this uh boost area here is what kills you because look how look how far under the ball you are realistically you're so far under it you'd have to be over like here you know but you're too close that's that's the reason why it didn't really work it's not that you can't control the ball in the air per se it's just because you gave yourself a bad launch Hey, I like how you're using your camera to see where your teammate is. I think you could have carried this up the wall. Maybe not, but, um... It's not the worst idea. It at least gives them pressure, but now your teammate's in a 2v1 like, at this point. Okay, you guys get back. It's good. I see you like to extend a lot. Nice. And yeah, that extension was really good. Because, I mean, your teammate's already far away enough. So this is why it works. He's able to, to you know, position according to your extension, so. I'm glad, though, that you're doing extensions. Extensions is actually, um, believe it or not, extending like that is pretty high ranked. Um, because... It kind of, like, defeats the purpose of rotating a lot, and a lot of low-ranked players are told to just rotate out. So, extending like that might scratch people's heads, like, oh, like, why why is he extending so much? But, I mean, it opens up opportunities like that where you score. So, extending is risky. It's a high-risk, high-reward um, type mechanic, I'd say. Because the reason why it's high risk is because you run the risk of not being able to help your teammates out if, if you, you know, if you were just third man, if you played it safe. But it's it's high reward because if you stayed up and somehow the 50 goes right, you're able to, to get to the ball first before the enemy team does and you might be able to get a score out of it. Okay, I don't like this sitting around. Like, you see your teammates behind you. Now you go, but... Right here is when you should have saw your teammates behind. See? If you were quick, you saw his car on your screen. Just take the initiative. Now go up and hit this in. But you just hesitated. That's really it. All right, good pressure. That's really good. I think your game sense isn't too bad. I think you just need to work a little bit more on your positioning. If you want, which I recommend doing, but um, maybe not in this rank yet, but if you if you feel pretty confident, jump up after this. Like, wait a little longer here, and then jump up after it. You know, just to put pressure on. And you gotta make sure, though, you hit the ball. You have to hit the ball. Because if you miss, then it's a waste of your possession, and then you just completely overcommit. Okay, you gotta control this. Good positioning on that play there. Like, good 50. Don't go after big boost. Yeah, this big boost is fine, but I, I didn't want you getting the corner boost because you're already past it, so it's too late. Yeah, you guys are about to score soon. Not only because I can tell because of the, the bar, the timeline, but it's just the blue team is getting slammed right now. And they're leaving so much space. Right, here comes the shot. Nice. You're very close. You know, I wouldn't even be positioned here. I would be positioning, like, right here. So, I wouldn't even get the score in my game. <laughs> you play so close. It's strange. It works here because people are slow. But I feel like it's going to bite you in the ass later. Because, like, this is essentially almost a double commit. Because, it's like, what are you covering exactly? You know what I mean? Like... What happens if there was a 50 here? It'd fly both you know, over both of your heads and then he's stuck in a 2v1. So this is why it's bad, your positioning. But it works because look what happens. He throws it away, so he's out. Sammy's gone. Damo misses it. Scooby hits the ball away. So now he can't react to that. That's why you score. <laughs> 
But if, if the blue team was more efficient with their play, they would have had an easier time. Um, they probably would have had um, a huge scoring opportunity off you guys. So just be careful with this in the future. I'll let it slide for now, but... Um, the, only, the only reason why I'm letting it slide is because you're playing really aggressive for your rank. So I could tell... I feel like your sense of speed, you're definitely a little better than your than the players that you're playing with right now. But um, just be a little bit more uh, aware of your positioning on defense especially. I noticed your defense was a little lacking. That's why they scored three times on you guys. Remember, you have to get scored on less than your opponent does. So focus more on defense because I think you have your um you have your offensive game down pretty well. I mean, sometimes you mess up here and there on your mechanics, but I'm just gonna trust the fact that you're just gonna keep working on your mechanics behind the scenes and that you're just you're just gonna get more consistent with it. So I I'm just looking to see with your game sense on how you play. So I think defense is a little lacking, position a little, a little bit more safer when you're on defense, especially on your half, like position for more of the uh, worst case scenarios. And you, you should know by now what the worst case scenario is. It's very obvious here. For example, let's see, let's see when you get scored on. Oh yeah, this is the perfect thing, right? Remember when zero is still up? The worst case scenario. Yes. The worst case scenario is, um, you know, what if he gets uh, dunked on by Scooby, right? So you, you gotta position deep into net. You know a play is happening. It, it look, look at this. Look at the buildup, right? This is what game sense is too. You gotta know the buildup. Look at look. The ball's coming up to the wall. Scooby and Moose are going after it. Something's gonna happen. You're too busy dilly dallying up here. This is the best case, where you get a nice quick fifty close to you and you can hit it over his head. But remember here, it's on your side. You can't. You can't always, you know, position for the best case scenario. Especially when your teammate, Zero, is not even back yet to help you. You're positioning as if there's someone back here on back post. Right? And then he could just hit this ball. But he isn't. He's too busy getting boost. So, you gotta position for the worst case. And the worst case scenario is if he gets dunked on, which he does. See, and then you can receive this ball. So, that's a perfect example of why your defense is lacking it's because you're you're playing aggressive on offense which is fine but you're also playing aggressive on defense so you don't you don't switch mindsets you know that's that's why you you almost lost this game these guys were just a little worse than you so um just be mindful of that when you're on defense just play more uh passively and if you're if you see that a teammate is behind you and you're on defense, then you can play for the the best case because third man will cover the worst case. So, um, yeah, so that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for sending the replay. Hopefully this uh, helps you understand uh, 3v3s a bit better. Hopefully this will get you into grand champ, which I think it will, especially in threes, dude. Threes is a lot easier to, to get grand champ in. So um, I would recommend grinding threes, uh, knowing... Um, about the tips that I just gave you now. So keep working at it. And uh, I think you'll get it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.